All right, we've been talking about severe weather awareness all week long, so we do want to bring Mario Ruiz in right now. You've been uh, updating us on how to stay safe. Uh, today we're talking about the hail and what to do when we have these hail storms that we often have this time of year. You know, Greg, you know this, I know this, but hail and strong winds are really what impacts a bigger portion of the area when we're talking about severe weather. So I'm going to talk about winds and then we'll talk about hail real quick, but winds, uh, severe thunderstorm is capable of producing 58 eight mile per hour winds or greater. That's when it's considered severe, and this is usually called straight line winds. It's done in order to differentiate it from tornado tornadic winds uh, and most common. It comes in the form of downbursts. That's heavy cold air that just falls from the bottom of a thunderstorm. But hail is also a big concern, and the reason why we see it often in the spring is because of what our thunderstorms are doing. We have a freezing level that's close to the base of the cloud, and uh, whenever we have a really strong updraft. We get water that goes up into the cloud. It freezes, it falls back down, then and it freezes again when that updraft carries it up to the top. So that is why we see this really large hail sometimes with some of these storms. And we're more likely to see this in the spring because in the summertime, the freezing level goes up a bit higher. So it's more difficult for water to freeze uh, in the summertime with those really tall storms. So as far as how much hail we see, during an active season, anywhere between three quarters to one inch hail, which is about quarter to half dollar size. We see that about 30 times per year in the state. Uh, it's a little bit more rare to see a ping pong golf ball size, and it's even more rare for us to see baseball to even softball sized hail, but we have seen that before in North Texas. So now that you know that information, know this outdoor warning sirens mean go indoors and gather more info. It's not used only for tornadoes. Move into a sturdy building or a sturdy structure, and if you're in a car, you want to avoid travel, delay travel, or you know, get to somewhere safe quickly. Uh, and you want to move cars under a carport or a garage. All common sense things when we're talking about hail and strong winds here in North Texas. Mark. All right, Mario.